Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open lower today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.5% fall. Yesterday, the market closed 1.65% higher at 7,178. Kerry Stokes, chairman of Seven West Media, today announced the appointment of Jeff Howard as the incoming managing director and chief executive officer, succeeding James Warburton, who has advised his intention to step down from the role at the end of financial year 2024. He's currently chief financial officer of Seven West Media, Mr. Howard. The transaction will be effective on or before the 30th of June. He said there's been a significant improvement in the balance sheet and digital earnings underpinned by long-term AFL and cricket TV and streaming rights. And the acquisition of Prime have given the company a very strong future. The search for a new Seven West Media chief financial officer has started. Boss Energy has successfully completed its book bill to raise $205 million through a single charge placement of new fully paid ordinary shares. The offer received strong demand from both existing shareholders as well as a number of new domestic and global institutional investors. Proceeds raised from the offer will be used to fund the Ulta Mesa transaction, the Ulta Mesa project restart, exploration activities, working capital, Encore equity investment and spend on prompt efficient neutron technology as well as production and resource growth initiatives for the honeymoon project. The little green farmer is poised to significantly capitalize on a major amendment to the French health security bill paving the way for a substantial transformation in how medicinal cannabis is integrated into the French healthcare system. In 2021, Little Green Pharma and leading French pharmaceutical distributors Incel, Kimos and Centrelab were appointed as primary supplier and distributor of CBD50 and Little Green Pharma's 1 to 20 THC CBD for a two-year French pilot of medicinal cannabis products in the treatment of certain clinical conditions. Both medicinal cannabis oil products were produced at LGP's Australian operations. We'll take a break here, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Calkine Media's growing platform, Calkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Calkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. And welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 0.19%. The S&P 500 shed 0.39%. On the Nasdaq Composite dropped 0.58%. European markets closed higher. London's FTSE added 0.34%. Frankfurt gained 0.75%. And Paris closed 0.66% higher. Turning to Asian markets now, Tokyo's Nikkei gained 2.04%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng added 0.83%. China Shanghai Composite closed 0.11% lower. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.